Hi, my name is Catherine Taylor. I'm the course leader for the BTEC Level 3 Enterprise and Entrepreneurship Program, which is part of the Peter Jones Enterprise Academy. I'm going to look at a little bit of the course structure within the Peter Jones Academy. Within the college, the college is all about creating outstanding futures for young people like yourselves. Your tutors will be industry specialists. We've got a dedicated progression pro coach for all of our students. We have a high expectations and outcomes for progress and attendance for everybody. Um, obviously, we expect a high standard of attitude and behaviour. Equally, we've got an open door policy. So if there's any sort of a problem or a concern or you just want someone to talk to, there's always somebody available for you. Within the college, there are some amazing facilities, which include a te television and filming studio, the Lee Stafford Salon, there's a commercial training restaurant, an art studio, a theatre and a travel agency. Getting to and from the college, all students qualify for a free bus pass to use on the Arriva services. There's a cash reward scheme, depending on the household income. Um, there are different benefits available, as you can see on the slide, for different students. If you did have any specific college questions about access or courses that are available, etc., we've got the Student Services Department and we've also got some dedicated careers tutors. This is my course flyer that you might have seen. Um, I've been handing them out in secondary schools in the local area. And this is going to be the, the, the basis, if you like, the structure for the rest of the presentation, looking specifically at the BTEC course content, looking at the type of things that you'll be doing on the programme, future career opportunities and next steps after this course. It's a BTEC Level 3, uh, the assessments and mixture of assignments and external tests set by BTEC. One of the units is about enterprise, where you look specifically at entrepreneurs, this year, the students have looked at people like Elon Musk, Alan Sugar, Peter Jones, um, and lots more. We have a unit called Launch Business. This is where you create a business plan to set up your own business um, as part of the program, which might be part of your Peter Jones business as well. That can be on your own or it can be in a group. We look at finance. Within finance, it's not just about business banking where you do the accountancy. It's also personal finance, so managing your bills at home, finding holiday insurance or car insurance. It looks at savings accounts for young people like yourself. So it's a very useful unit. We do marketing. So this is all the advertising and promotion for your business, whether that's for your BTEC, for the unit for launch business unit, or if it's another business that you're setting up separate from that as part of the Peter Jones Academy. We also do social enterprise, so this is our charity work, the students this year. Um, some of them did a run and they raised money for Centrepoint in Newcastle, which is a homeless charity. And another student did some work for the Women's Refuge in Peter Lee, where she, well, she raised money and put together some beautiful care packages for the women at the refuge, which was full of toiletries, bath bombs, all sorts of treats, as well as the essentials. And then we also look at entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship in practice. This is a very, very businessy unit where you look at leadership management, teamwork, motivation, organisational culture, etc. For this, we had planned on visits, but obviously due to lockdown, <laughs> we didn't get there. Um, so the students were looking to go to the cinema um, to investigate the management at the cinema. Somebody else was looking at Caterpillar and somebody else was looking at Morrison's. So what will you do? So you'll do all of that as part of your BTEC National Foundation Diploma. You'll also have the opportunity to participate in National Entrepreneur of the Year. You'll have the opportunity to take part in the Tycoon competition, to do flash challenges. We have lots of guest speakers coming in from local businesses. And then we'll also go on some visits. The Tycoon competition is 
where you can pitch to Peter Jones to get up to £3,000 to set up your business. And I'll show you some of the businesses later in the presentation of what the students did this academic year. The finalists get to go to Hampton Court Palace due to lockdown. This has been moved from June to September 2020 for this year. You get to meet Peter Jones, you pitch, and the, the, the prize is a trophy. It's a £1,000, but actually it's where you, you might get picked up by one of their potential investors um, that work with Peter Jones. So a fantastic opportunity. There's National Entrepreneur of the Year. This is for an individual run business. Um, so for this again, the semi-final is normally in Buckingham at the university, but this year things were all different. So after lockdown, hopefully by September, we'll be able to go down. It's going to be at Hampton Court Palace now. Meet Peter Jones and pitch. Um, the prize for National Entrepreneur of the Year is £5,000 plus free university fees if you choose in the future to go to Buckingham University to do a business or enterprise related degree program. Flash challenges, there are 20 on the platform we get from Peter Jones and it's entirely up to you and me to decide together which ones we want to do and when we're going to do them. They're available all year round. So we, we've done full together as a class this academic year but now that we're in lockdown, this is brilliant for the students to access individually or in small groups. Each flash challenge has a prize that is equivalent to £120. Lots of the prizes are Amazon vouchers. Business in a Box is the one that we all do together in September. And that's where you buy a product and repurpose it. So one of the groups this year, they bought lots of sweets from Poundland in Peatley. And they then separated the packs out of that. It was mainly Haribo and then just made little cellophane gifts with ribbons on and sold them all separately. Graduation is for everybody. This normally is in June at Buckingham University. And again, this is changed to September this year. It's going to be at Hampton Court Palace. Um, all students on the Peter Jones programme will go and meet Peter. They get a certificate. They'll go onto the stage. To be presented with it. Endfest is a festival, it's a bit like a, a street party almost, where all, all of the students get the opportunity to have stalls where they can sell their products to other students, to potential investors from the Peter Jones Academy, but you also get to meet other entrepreneurs who have made it to get tips, get advice, go along to talks, there's workshops, there's all sorts going on. Last year we organised a Christmas fair, a fantastic opportunity for our students to have their stalls with their products. They also had members of the public with stalls like um, Avon, Body Shop, FM Perfume, so they were able to sell the tables and that helped cover the costs of the advertising on social media to get some boosts. This is one of the trips we went on. We went to um, the strategy in Sunderland uh, escape room because their marketing unit on the exam for last year was based on a, an escape room. So it was great to go and try it out, see what it, it was like in action. One of our students has entered National Entrepreneur of the Year and she's actually made it at the semi-finals, which had taken apart, gosh, taken place online. <laughs> Um, in a couple of weeks time in June so this was the early stages of her logo design she was wanting to make gym wear for two times XL bodybuilders up to 5XL so she had a, lots of ideas she had them all kind of drawn out on pencil at first this is the very first t-shirt that she had printed so a very proud moment this was in April 2020 and then that's the back of a t-shirt. She's now got them in lots of different colours. There's hoodies, not just the t-shirts. In the future, Sam's hoping to then expand into gym wear for children. Ultimately, her dream is to have her own gym. This is one of the posts that she's had on Facebook um, of her business. So it's been doing really, really well. 
she raised the money and put the gifts together that I mentioned earlier for the Women's Refuge in Pete Lee. So ready f they were going to get these gifts as an Easter present. Um, so yeah, she's put together six packs with lots and lots of goodies. She's also got little teddies in there for the children of the women in the refuge. The meat men. So a couple of students decided they, after visiting Hothel, they wanted to open a meat business. Initially, they were looking at buying a cow, which Peter Jones gave them the money to do, which was a lot of money. They then had a change of plan in November and decided they were going to buy a pig instead and they'd be making sausages. So this is their logo and it, um, for their business. This is the boys actually making their sausages over at Hoffel at the butchery. This is the, the boys when they went to Learning Curve. So that's a business in Durham and they went and sold out in a day. And you can see they're wearing their, their hoodies now with their logo on. They've also got the branding on the back of their hoodies. This business is doing brilliant. They've stayed between first and second place for the whole year on the national leaderboard for the tycoon competition. They're currently working on their evaluation of the business, ready for the deadline on the 15th of May, at which point we're hoping they're going to make it through to the final, which again will be in September. Another student has a dream in the future of having an advertising business. And in college we were like, well, why wait to the future? Why not do it now? So this is the business. It's called Advertising Made Easy. The idea behind this business is that this student would like to help and support small businesses who either haven't got the time, the skills or the budget to do effective advertising. So he's designed this logo for his business himself. Also has a range of business cards. He's got a website. He's got an email address. And this is one of his banners. So you might recognize this in the college at Pete Lee campus down by the refectory. His business is selling the advertising space on each of the glass panels that border the refectory, so there's a massive footfall there for local businesses to get some advertising. He's got three businesses on board. Timing was terrible for us in that lockdown closed the college, uh, but he does have some customers whose banners were printed and ready. So hopefully as soon as college opens and when it's safe to do so, those businesses will be able to come in and will be able to get their banners up on the glass panels. Extraordinary is another business that is selling straws, metal and bamboo. They're also on the leaderboard for the tycoon competition. They're in fourth place for the country. This is one of their adverts they did using Starbucks and you can see there the metal straw and at the bottom of the image you can see they've got little glass jars of their metal and bamboo straws. Glitter and Tool was another one, an individual student set up a business selling hair bows that she'd made. This is some charity work that the Meat Men, the advertising company and a sweets business, they got together and they raised money by doing a, a park run in Durham for Centrepoint, which is based in Newcastle. After the course, so... Lots of opportunities. You can go off to university and study a wide range of, of courses. This year we've got students going to Durham University, Teesside University and Northumbria all looking to study either business and management, business and finance, business and marketing kind of courses. We've got another student who's actually going to come back to college part time and she's going to do her accountancy qualification. The second year of the program, just like doing your A levels, the second year is the extended diploma that takes you up to the three years. So at the end of year one, it's like your AS levels, you have the equivalent of one and a half A levels that then take you into the second year to complete the extended diploma. And of course, apprenticeships are an option at the end of the program, just like university is, or into employment. If you would like to apply, you can apply directly on the college website. Mentioned student services earlier on. Student services are available and you can ring the college if you need any help. You can participate in a live chat if you've got some specific questions. 
I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation. My name is Catherine. This is my email address, catherine.taylor at eastdurham.ac.uk. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please do get in touch and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you.